200. They're everywhere. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Command and Conquer Generals. We'll be continuing with the Chinese campaign today. And uh Roger that. Okay, so these are all old save files, so I'll just go through and delete these now. Um as you can tell they're from 2016. So just so I don't get confused at what mission I'm on. I don't know why I got two save files for that, but whatever. In any case, uh, so last time the GLA uh, detonated a nuke in downtown Beijing, wiping out a good chunk of the city, and we went and found their little mountaintop hill where they were uh, storing more nuclear weapons, and we successfully destroyed the nuclear weapons before they could be used. So now we start the second Chinese mission. General, an active GLA cell has been unmasked in Hong Kong. We suspect the terrorists have targeted buildings in the commercial center. The cell must be crushed and its members eradicated. Strike hard, General, and without mercy. That's an awfully green boat. And that can't possibly be anything good. over the convention center. You are going to have to destroy it and the attached parking structures to stop the terrorist threat. The bridge is gone! We will live in prosperity. Right. General, that's all that's left of the assault force. Mm, we nice need to build a command center and a radar dish. We're building our base on the field? That's a good choice. Ready for order, China's rocket soldier. Immediately. Right away. Understood. Okay, what can we get? Artillery repairs. I think those are going to be it. most useful. We have a small amount of supplies. Fighting for the Red Army. Yes, General. Good infantry. China has been generous. Build orders complete, sir. A very good Barracks plan, and then a supply depot. So we can at least start harvesting those supplies. Now the Chinese, unlike the, the U.S., automatically gets radar when uh, it builds a command center. The Chinese have to buy the radar upgrade um, from their command center once it's built, and the GLA have to construct a unit, the radar van, in order to get radar. So let's do that. Let's start mining the place. Um, Construction is complete. Let's build a war factory just so we can get some vehicles produced if needed. And then uh, we're probably going to go all in on the reactors here. Upgrade complete. It will look real nice when it's done. Okay, so build another one of you. And I should see if this convention center exists in real life. I'm sure it does. If I find a uh, construction is complete. the coordinates on like Google Maps or something, maybe I'll add them as a comment to this video. Just because I'm curious to see how it would look in real life. 
as it is that uh, the GLA did a number on that bridge, which certainly wasn't helped by the uh, the weight of those Battlemaster tanks, or the Overlord tanks especially. The Overlords being the ones with the, um, the Twin Barrels, for those who aren't too familiar with the uh, Command and Conquer universe. Which, those are actually based on... Um, Tanks have been in the game from the first series, the GDI's Mammoth Tanks, as well as the Soviet Union's um, Apocalypse Tanks. So now, we gotta start checkpointing the area with Gatling guns. We should have enough power for... I won't say no to free soldiers. You guys, I want to garrison that building just so we can uh, kind of hold down the fort as it were. Okay, you got supplies running. Probably get another Gatling tower built. And we can build bunkers too. So, uh... Let's do that. So I want to get uh, rocketeers into the because before we can go on the attack, we gotta be able to defend ourselves. So I want rocketeers to go into the bunkers to provide a anti-vehicle component to our defenses. And we we see we have basically four streets the GLA can use to get to us. They can't really go that way because the map's cut off, so. Build orders complete. We have big plans. It will look real so nice we want to leave start. just enough room that we can still get our tanks through here, which I think we can just roll them over these cars and that'll be fine. Actually, I could probably have just put the uh, rocket troops in there, but... Oh well, hindsight is 2020. So now, let's get the, um, okay, so that dozer's backed off. So China let's put you there out. then. Ah, we have our first customer. I'm carrying the big gun. Yes, Terrorists. Building so those are a simple unit, which, uh, they're basically your... They're stereotypical terrorists. They have bombs strapped to them. They run towards the enemy. When they get to them, they blow up. And that is why we had the uh, rocket troopers. So for now, we'll garrison some infantry in there to give some coverage to this area. We should have a decent amount of... Yeah, there we go. We can fill up that bunker. So we need... Uh, or at least I'll be comfortable once we get five more rocket troops. Uh, oh. There we go. Although I should probably just build a... Uh, Proper Gatling turret. Well, let's see, we should have enough power for one more. And then we can start producing the vehicles that we'll need. So let's see, yeah, we can't build an airfield or anything. That's the uh, next mission. I think that we get access to the airfield. Actually, an upgrade we might... Oh, uh, we can't get the chain gun upgrade yet. That's a little unfortunate. Alright, so we just need two or more dollars. And then we can um, 
We want to build one last set up by the train station, which gives us lots of uh, lots of right guards. It's kind of nice to have on this mission as uh, they're uniquely vulnerable, let's say. And I believe we should be. Uh, You can kind of hear the sounds, even though you, the game doesn't let you see. Alright, so we almost have enough to build our uh, last line of defense here. There we go. So we're going to build the uh, Gatling gun in the parking lot there. And then quick supplement it with a bunker. Which will make these guys somewhat uh immediately moving now, sir. Somewhat unneeded now. Yep, they're uh launching more terror attacks. We will live in but we're better than that. Alright, so we'll build a bunker there. I like the bunker just because it's more fortified than the civilian building. And I don't know if the Chinese bunkers benefit, but I do know there's like actual concrete World War II style bunkers in this game that I believe are less vulnerable or perhaps even immune to... Um, some of the building clearing abilities. I'm not sure. It's been so long since I played I'd have to test that, but I seem to recall some of them being somewhat, at least somewhat fortified against things like flashbangs and uh, chem tractors and stuff. Oh, there they go again. Upgrade complete. More soldiers? No, not yet. Well, we should focus on fortifying our defenses. I know this isn't the, um, I don't need mines. Not this far back. I'll do the, use that when I have money to blow. I know this isn't the most exciting part of the video, but it's my belief that strong defense leads to strong offense, so. And I have had a few problems on this map where I haven't built up my defenses quickly enough because I was trying to muster a scout or an attack or something and it can uh it can get troublesome and cause this mission to drag out for longer than needed uh, actually what i'm going to do once i get the money just so that way we can get money in a little bit faster for the uh short term at least i want to build another supply center and then um then do we have gatling tanks we do. <laughs> but in any case, I'll build some, uh, probably just some battle masters to accompany our um, access of red guards. And then, um, then while they're out, then we can spend money on uh, building minefields, and then we shouldn't have to worry about our defenses any more than that. That's a good General, choice. the GRA have sent in their toxin tractors. They fire a toxic green ooze. Keep your infantry away from them and use your tanks to deal with this new threat. And what we see there is an oil refinery. Now if you capture this building, it gives you, I think, something like a 10% discount on all your, uh, it's weird that we have a little dot there. Excuse me, I think it gives you a 10% discount on all your vehicle purchases, so. And now is when the attacks will pick up. Oh. China is under attack. Okay, so the Chinese bunker does not benefit. Uh, we may China want to... Where is the battle? We may want to build a... S well, no, what we'll do is we can garrison this building with extra missile hunters, but yeah. Okay, so lesson learned. Hail to their 
Where is the battle? The okay, so I think we got enough now. We can at least re-garrison the bunker, which, as we can see, gives lets us stop two toxin tractors. Oh, one of you guys didn't get the uh, memo. There. That should enable us to hold down. Now, uh, one of our abilities is actually an artillery strike, so what we can do the fuck with the GLA is we can uh, launch an attack from off-site artillery. And, uh, curiously enough, they show up as units. But we can uh, do some damage to their arms factory there that's making all of these troublesome um, toxin tractors. Up, oh, one of the civilians ran over a landmine, I guess. We still have infantry attacking us there. And let's build uh, a few more battle masters. I'd like at least six. So that should be enough to stop uh, vehicle attacks. The mines will help too. So last resort, if they break through our defenses, uh, the mines should kill or damage. Should kill a small amount and damage a few more people. And we have plenty of lives to throw away there, so that's good. Oh, throw away, did I say that? I meant, um, sacrifice for the glory of the Premier, Chairman, President, whoever. Forget who. I think, uh, China has a president. Right here. China needs but. us there. Now, unfortunately, this game isn't the best for uh, letting you set your formations, at least in my experience, but... So we're going to send you guys down this main street here. Alright. Yeah, so if they got here, they would start taking damage from the landmines, which I believe regenerate over time. There we can... Yeah, notice how the, uh, the those terrorist units are hidden on your map too. Like you c in multiplayer, because you can have ter the way the um, terrorist bombings normally work is you have a terrorist you have a terrorist commandeer one of the civilian vehicles laying around the map, and then uh, it he comes semi stealth. I mean, as a player, you can obviously see something's doing something it shouldn't, and then you can act. Accordingly, and your units obviously can tell too. But uh, okay, everyone out of the toxin. And let's take out the uh, arms dealer. And we got promoted, so we can get better and see for our guardsmen, which honestly I don't care too much for. And now we shall overwhelm them with numbers. Good work, General. You've destroyed the toxin base. And over here. Now they shouldn't be able to build any more toxin tractors. Ooh, black napalm. That'll be useful for what I have in mind. I want to build up a few more. Lost. Where is the battle for orders? Yes, General. Oh shit! I forgot to. Uh... Yes. Ah. I double click, so I selected everyone. Oh. That doesn't work on infantry. Okay, that makes sense, but good to know. There we go. Oh, technical. That's a different one than we normally get. It looks like we've, uh, Triggered a bit of a response from them. Okay, we've got the uh, we got our vehicle discounts now, which actually yeah. See now it's 720 instead of 800. 
There we go. Now we can buy everything I want to buy. We'll open the convention center here. Or whatever it is. And then I'll bring the tanks out. I like how this terrorist is just zigzagging. No, no. Oh, good catch. Wow, they really uh, did a number on the convention center, but we are beating them back. Tanks move up to support. And of course they come out the other side of the building. <sighs> How's it feel? Oh really? Uh, I suppose that was a case of friendly fire. Let's see if we can take out that parking garage, because that's for the, uh, in, at least in this mission, they're the ones generating the, uh, the terrorist cars. Okay, we got some damage on it. Okay, I want to bring these guys here. You guys are failing horribly. Oh. Oh, come on! Now they're gonna die! Unit lost. Those terrorists are ruining my business. If you put your forces aboard, I will take you out to the convention center. You can sneak in and catch them by surprise. We're taking the, the transport button when you're Oh, we get 10. Okay, that's excellent. Alright, those guys are gonna die. I don't particularly care that much. But with our newfound money, we can create another horde. China is under attack. As it Where seems we've now uh, provoked China's them a bit. But this ferry is useful for a nice back door. Fighting for the Red Army. We stand together. Although as you can see, vehicles take up more than one slot. So actually, I don't want you there. Probably want this, uh... Huh, okay. Yeah, now they're just gonna blow up my discounts. Uh, that's unfortunate. And since we can build two at a time, we should have a decent force. At the very least, I think I can send these guys here to defend the uh, refinery. Oh, too late. What I can do is send... Take that guy out. There we go. No, 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 no. Kill. Okay, if we can, uh... Set up... Another vehicle squad, and then some more infantry. We should be good. Yeah, now with the Gatling tanks, uh, this squad's pretty well balanced, I think. Actually, enough so that I think I'm just going to uh, unload them all here. And send the tanks over, just so they can get that uh, the bonus from having all the tanks together. 
that I think they need a little more firepower since as you can see they don't have the best armor which makes them somewhat vulnerable to uh, technicals and of course these flamethrowers have a super short range resulting in things like that Although something we... did we lose both? No, here he is. So what we can do is we can actually create a flame wall. Which will damage all units that try to move through the area. So this is an effective way of cutting them off for the time being. So we can send these guys to the second area. And basically control the flow of vehicles in and out. So I want an extra infernal tank to replace the one we lost. And now we have the black napalm, they'll take additional damage too. And Of course they're stupid. Don't, uh... Oh my god. Yes, instead of uh, going around them the smart way, they decide to drive through the fire. And you guys decided to shoot everyone but the terrorists. And now we suck against infantry. Let's set him up and there we go. So that way is effectively cut off now. Now I don't know if they get credit for kills this way, but it is uh It's a nice thing to have. And let's make sure you aren't resting. As you can see that now they are uh, amassing all their forces through this third gate. But what we can do, and actually they're, they almost look smart enough to wait them out. Let's see if we can take out this uh, parking garage though. Stop being dumb, shoot him, okay. <laughs> As you can see, the AI is not the smartest in this game, which, I mean, at this point, I think, you know, being it being 2003, uh, it was just cool that units would retaliate if someone shot at them, you know, half, even if they did it like half the time. Okay, so now let's micro these guys over since we don't want them running through the frickin' flamethrowers. So we'll go run them up here, over here, and then we're gonna bring them down here and create a third flame wall. This is working perfectly. Now, the only thing, like, this map would be perfect for um, zero hour, really, if they gave you the Helix helicopters, because then you could cut off the GLA, because the GLA can only move around by land and tunnel. So you could cut them off at each of these passes, and then you could bring in your helicopters with infantry to assault the base. Which I think that would be a really cool strategy to have, but. Unfortunately, the base game doesn't let you use it. Heck no. no. I don't trust you guys anymore. <laughs> Not after seeing everyone run through the fire. Yeah, so these guys are gaining veterancy. Because I don't think this counts as a direct attack. But... <laughs> And we did level one of the parking garages, so that should reduce the amount of uh, terrorists we have to deal with. We are the Red God. Okay, Red I think Star. you can be trusted to find your way there. You guys can move all the way here. We are moving. And actually, 
There's not that many coming up. I might just launch my assault soon. Is there any supplies there? Uh, you're empty, so let's start setting trucks over here. Because I assume you're empty too? Yep. Although we have everything we need at this point. If we ran out of supplies and soldiers, I'd be, uh, I'd be very disappointed. For now, I'm going to move up one Infernal Tank. And uh, let's see how far across the bridge we can actually get. So like you, if we... Uh, there we go. What? Ah, uh, I guess he got too close to the terrorist when he blew. But I do want this guy closer. Can just kind of get a roving wall of fire. There we go. There we go. There we go. So now we can kind of just advance our firewall. Keep it steady. I will leave a dark cloud. There we go. Advance some more. So at this point, I'll build five more soldiers, and we can use those on uh, on the ferry. Now we should have a few more infernal tanks somewhere. Ah. Oh, looks like they're massing for an attack. Using only infantry, trying to cross through the fire, and as predicted, oh, you can see the uh, you can see the the car come out. Oops. So let's uh, knock that building out a bit, and then uh, I heard unit lost. So okay, it's not my flamethrower units, so I don't know. Was someone left standing on the tracks like a dumbass? I don't know. <laughs> but now we can move up our cleansing flames and just kind of slowly choke them off. So like this guy we could probably start there. You we could probably cut off this area. I will leave a dark cloud. Set them ablazing. And now you storage tanks sealed. Keep it steady. Yeah, we got him trapped now. Oh that <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even get to do my grand assault. The terrorist threat is finished. Good work, General. Oh my god, the the convention took damage from the flame from the flame AoE I had down. And since in this game you only have to destroy the convention center and its attached parking garages, and I guess we did that. Oh man, that was a lot less um That was very anticlimactic, at least for what I was planning, so we ended up creating 111 units. We lost 55, but we destroyed 241. So that's a nice uh, 5 to 1 KD, just about. The GLA lost 185 units. This seems like a discrepancy here. Um, I do have to wonder if they count civilian units, like buildings or... Um, what's the other word I'm looking for? Vehicles, like the civilian cars and stuff. I don't know. They only killed 23 of our units, though. So as far as uh, 
if we go just by these two numbers, we have a loss of 23 to 185, which would be bet that's a nine to one loss ratio, so that's even better. Um, they lost their supply depot or barracks. I know both were on fire. I don't know which one got destroyed first. And then, of course, the one building we lost was the oil refinery. And we collected all the supplies on the map, it looks like, because that is a very round number. And apparently the GLA didn't. I don't know what was going on there. Uh, nor unless they had, like, next to no supplies to start with. But that would explain why the resistance wasn't uh, as intense as they thought it was going to be. But in any case... That completes the second mission in the Chinese campaign, so thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and we'll see you then.